this video I'm going to show how uh, positioning works, uh, measurement for positioning. I'm not talking about measuring tool, that's something else, but as far as just positioning. So let's take, I'll take a basic cube and I'll center it. I double click the center, or you can same thing, open it and click center, same idea. And if you see this is positioned at zero, zero, zero position. This is related to the position from the scene, which is zero, zero position, which is the center of the scene. And depending how big your scene is, but it's always the center is, is zero and then it goes negative or positive. So if you think about if I move it this way, this becomes positive x. If I move it this way, it becomes negative x. In the same way, it would be this way, uh, negative inwards or positive this way. Now let's center it again, something like this. So, but if you think about it, this is the floor. You see where these gizmos are positioned? These are on the floor. So actually it's a zero, zero center from the center and going in this plane direction and this plane direction, which in my case it's X and, and Z, you can change it Z to be the height and, and Y to be the other direction, but that's my case. But when it comes to the height, the floor is the zero. And in some applications, there's a difference. Some applications, the height would be zero, would be over here in the center of the scene as well. Same way it's in the center over here. But in self cat and many other applications, it's this way, which logically makes more sense because. Um, if you think about it, a 3D printer or anything else where you're positioning in real life, you can measure things from the center of your 3D printer going in each direction, but you can't go below the printing bed. So that's kind of what makes sense. However, if you want to change that, in the advanced settings, you have an option to center. You see the default is the bottom. If I would make this to the middle, now you see this already has a position of 50Y because now we measure from the center over here and this is positioned on the floor. So if I say, this is the center, now you see this changes, and same thing if I make it top, this will become 100, because the size of the cube is 100, we measure from here. Now, where does this make a big difference? This actually makes a huge difference when it comes to positioning objects, aligning one object to another. So if you think about aligning objects, we actually have a few ways of aligning objects. So one way would be um, align tool, that we have something aligning objects. So let's give it a try. So I'll take a basic uh, cone, and let me scale this down to make it small, to be easier to align it. So I'm going to make this to, let's keep it proportion. I'll make this to uh, 25, just a small cone. And uh, I'm now going to go to the Move tool and actually just show another advanced settings, which is Magnet. So if I'm going to go now and, and move it on this side, it will automatically rotate. So it's perfectly positioned, rotated, the cone should face this way. But now I want this to position in the center of the object, completely in the center of the object. So we're going to go to the Align tool, and in the Align tool I have an option to align to the grid or to an object. I'm choosing this object, which is to match to 87, and I choose the middle. I want to position the center, and I want to have the front of the object. I'm facing now my front, so this is the front of the object. So you can see actually this is positioned on top of it, because the way this is measured now, the gizmo position from this object, uh, it starts measuring from the center basically over here and this is also the, the bottom so basically this is the the gizmo the way you measure this the bottom from this and then it starts measuring from here because that's how the gizmo position is positioned so let's see if I'm going to um, the pivot which represents in the gizmo same thing so let's see actually I'm going to change the gizmo position over here so I'm going to go to the move tool and I'm going to position this to instead of having the bottom I'm going to position this in the center I'm not touching the cone, you see I'm touching, touching this, just this part, the cube. And now I'm going to switch selection to the cone and I'm going to go back to Align Tool and now I'm going to choose the same object and now I'm going to choose the same thing, middle and front. So now you see actually it positioned perfectly in the center of the object because now it calculates from that gizmo position which is uh, kind of, um, you know, makes sense. You can also see it on the position over here where you look at the position of this gizmo, is now positioned at 37.5. Let's see if I'm going to change again, and to this, just change this part, move. I'm not changing the cone now, I'm changing just this. I'm going to go to, it was 37.5, the cone position, to remember. I'm going to go back to, let's see, what was it? Um, bottom, I, th I think it's the default open to the bottom, so I had to move it to make sure. And center bottom, and now I'm going to go back to this and align it again and align this to this object to the middle front which lifts it up now and let's see the position of this if you go now to move in this position it's actually 50 
so it moved up you see it's positioned clearly higher not just visual but actually the measurement as well so where else does this make a difference this makes a difference also in positioning creating objects from scratch using the the also alignment option where you create over here so let's see if i take a basic cube and this is 100 100 100 so i just take a basic cube now let's say if i want to and now it's centered also so let's say i want to take a second cube and i want to position it over here in the top and maybe use it to cut out a piece or something like that so i'm going to use in this case i want to make it by 10 just 10 i'm going to show this just to be able to visualize actually on how this i made this by 10 i want the height to be let's say 20 because i want it to stick out a little bit on top and the depth i want it to st stick out the other side as well so i'll make it 120 i want it not 20 120 so now you see it starts positioning from the center but now I go over here the height i want to make it by 90 which will actually intersect something like this and i make this 20 so 10 will intersect you can see it's the center of the object 10 will intersect and this will be perfect so in this case 90 is perfect to have the center of the object if i make this the height would be 10 you see the object is completely covered so basically it does not measure from the center because it measures the gizmo on the y direction the height it always measures from the bottom so in this case 10 would cover it completely here and then but if i want to position it on this way if you think about the same logic uh, measuring from the bottom and this way would be kind of mo moving 50 but in this way actually it measures from the center and center from this as well so if this is 10 and this is 50 means i need to move it by 45 so in the x direction i'm going to move it by 45 and now it positions properly if i'll make it 50 it will stick out so yeah that's basically it and that's how you do all alignment positioning in this tool and in the align tool and uh, in the measuring tool to in the move tool also to position and so on okay i hope this was helpful and uh, thank you for watching have a great day bye